Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sanctuary Christian Center. It is prayer time in the sanctuary. So glad to be able to have the opportunity to pray with the people of God and for the people of God. And so I ask if you have a specific prayer request, send me that while I am praying and we will definitely call out your name and whatever the issue may be. We want to be specific when we are praying. But we know that today is Thanksgiving Eve. And I've got a question for many people with it being Thanksgiving Eve. Do you know uh, how Thanksgiving actually originated and what it means to us? And it holds so much value for us as a Christian body, as believers. Do you know? Many people don't know. A lot of times we're just celebrating holidays. And I can recall years ago myself being that person. I got another day off of work. That was my total concern. And so even for us as Christians, we need to be careful that we're not celebrating Babylonian days. And so those days of just getting off, uh, having the day off of work, and we're celebrating that day because it's in honor to some kind of pagan god. So let's be cautious. Do your homework. Make sure you know what's going on and make sure that you are fully aware. Hello, Denise. Make sure you're fully aware of what's going on in your environment and why we do what we do. And so uh, in 1789, Thanksgiving originated. It was a harvest festival that was instituted and it wasn't national at that time. And so we need, need to make note of why we do what we do, why we celebrate what we celebrate. Then in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln instituted it a day of national celebrating, a national day of thanksgiving to our benefactor, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and giving our God thanks. Now, isn't that awesome? And so when I thought about that, I said, it doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter your thought on Christ if you accept him as Lord and Savior. There is a day instituted to the entire world, a national holiday of Thanksgiving. And so for us, instead of just coming together as families, which we haven't been together for the past 18 months, many people are super excited about that. I would be too, was glad to be able to have that, that time to spend with my family as well. But, but, but why are we coming together when we come together? Do we just drink and, and just be merry? Do we pause for a moment as a family and ask each individual, what are you thankful for? Even those children that are not saved ought to be able to say something that they're thankful for. So don't let this holiday pass you by without giving thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Somebody don't have a turkey to put in the oven. Someone don't even know how to make dress and don't know what it tastes like. It's a tradition for many of us, especially African Americans, that we make many of our dishes from scratch. Uh, my mother didn't do anything with a box. Everything from scratch. And so we've been blessed in so many ways. We've been blessed even to survive the pandemic. Many of us that have survived the pandemic We've been blessed to survive the pandemic. Many of us were blessed during the pandemic. And so once again, once you're together with your family, maybe before you have dinner, during dinner, you can have table conversation. After dinner, pause again and ask the individuals, what are you thankful for? Because we have so much to be thankful for. Good health making it through the pandemic. My God, hallelujah. Uh, just, just grateful to see a family member that you have not seen, being able to lift your hands, open up your mouth and talk, move about in your body, have your strength, the activity of your limbs, much to be thankful for. So let's make sure that we do that. And then let somebody, a patriarch or a matriarch or an elder or a deacon or a deaconess in the family, pause. And pray. Let's give God some praise in prayer. And that's where we're going now, right into prayer. Father, we praise you in prayer. 
Father, we lift up your name and glorify you for you are our king. You are our Lord. You are our everything. You are the creator of the entire universe. You are the reason we have the air we breathe. You are the makeup of all the molecules, the atoms, the chromosomes, all of our, our, our antibodies in our body, God. You are everything. Mm. You are the air that I breathe. My God, hallelujah. You are the reason that I sing. You are my everything, Father. And so today, <coughs> we give you thanks. We honor Jehovah. Yes, God, our God, our King, Elohim, El Elyon. We, we honor you, Jehovah Jireh. You are the Christos, Yahshua HaMashiach. You are my everything, Father, and that is why I bless your name. Your name, Jesus, is holy. You are sovereign and majestic. Yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. You are mighty and powerful. Yes, God. You are righteous. You are justification all by yourself. You took on the sins of the world. You're my propitiation. Yay, God. And so I bless you in prayer. I praise you in prayer. Prayer. I give you praise, God. I give you glory, God. I give you honor, God. I give thanksgiving to the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we honor your name, Father. Abba, Father, we honor the name of Jesus. We lift up the name, our righteous King. Woo, God, my kinsman, Redeemer. Yes, Father, I lift you up and glorify your name. You are the glorious King, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Father, we thank you for starting, implementing creation, being the creator, just speaking it, let it be. Powerful when you just speak, God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for forgiveness, Father. Thank you for salvation, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for sanctification. Thank you for justification, Father. Thank you for the blood, the blood, the blood. Thank you for the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood that prevails. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name, Jesus. You are wondrous. Woo, God, we bless you. You are holy. Yee. Hayamasa. Yeah, 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 yeah. We bless your name, Father. And we thank you. We're grateful. We're grateful with a grateful heart. We bless your name, Jesus. Father, thank you for the gathering of your counsel, the gathering of the Son, the gathering of the Holy Spirit, God, for, for, for that time of creation. For you all said, let there be in unison together. Jesus, we thank you for being our sacrifice. You are the ultimate sacrifice for the entire world. Father, we thank you for being the sacrificial lamb. No one could do what you've done. No one can do what you continue to do. Jesus, 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 we bless your name. There is power in the name of Jesus, 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 we lift up your name. Jesus, we're just so grateful for what you continue to do as you sit on the right hand side of the Father. You're forever giving me new mercies every day. You're forever giving us new mercies every day. And are we worthy? A lot of times we're not. We forget to even thank you through the course of the day. Oh, we forget to bless your name, God. We forget to acknowledge the Holy Spirit. Forgive us of our sins and our trespasses. Deliver us, God, from ourselves, God. The anguish, the stress, the mental 
uh, 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 discord, that what, what we put ourselves through through the course of the day without even acknowledging you, God, but today is a day of thanksgiving. Oh, Father, as we enter into another year of thanksgiving, this year does not look like last year. Oh, come on, everybody. Bless his name with me. Oh, lift your hands where you're at and begin to tell the Lord thank you. Mm. This year doesn't look like last year. And the pandemic is still prevalent. But God, many of us have had pandemics in our lives and have not acknowledged them at all. We had pandemics before we had COVID. And there's a name to identify the virus that's in the atmosphere. But many of us have been stricken, Jesus, with stress, <coughs> depression, <coughs> anguish, suicide, loneliness. My God. Marital distress. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children are, are, are just astray, wandering in wilderness. We've been bewildered. God, hallelujah. But today is a day of deliverance, Jesus. We can identify what the anguish and what it had been or the anger. God, that has been placed in us by the enemy and we could not identify. But today we can call the enemy out. We can plead the blood of Jesus and call the enemy. We plead, we plead, we plead the blood. The blood of Jesus that prevails. The blood of Jesus that saves. The blood of Jesus by your grace, God. We are empowered to stand because of your blood. And God, we thank you. We give you thanksgiving today. God, we thank you for your name alone is powerful. We can walk and stand alone in the name of Jesus. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. And at the name of Jesus, we can call your name and the enemy has to flee. We don't have to box with the enemy. All we got to do is put you up as our shield. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tell you, God, work it out for us. And then we have to wait. We have to wait. But the Bible has declared that we shall be persecuted all the days long for your sake. But we got to understand that. But if I keep being willing and obedient, that I can eat the good of the land. And you tell me that there's safety in you. There's a hiding place in you. There is a refuge in the name of Jesus. You tell us, God, that you would never leave us or forsake us. And that you are the present help in the time of trouble. So when trouble does appear... I lift up the name of Jesus. God, I give you thanks today. And we bless your name. God, I give you thanks today. And we bless the name of Jesus. We bless your name, God. Help us in our minds to put the blood on the doorpost of our home. Put the blood on the doorpost of our bedrooms over our children. God, anoint the, the rooms. Go through the house praying and believing you that this time would be a time like none other for a time of gathering for Thanksgiving where hearts would be mended and families would come together and embrace each other and and, and speak words of forgiveness to one another. Cry if you have to cry, but give God thanks and glory for what the Lord has allowed for us to come back together again. Don't take one moment for granted. God, we thank you for another year that we're yet standing, God, even though my loved one may be deceased. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Even though my loved one is stricken by, had been stricken by COVID, or even though my loved one may be in the hospital right now, I believe you for total recovery, God. But any way you do it, God, it is your will. Help us to stand in the will of God. What's your will for me right now while I give you thanks? In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. God, God, we give you thanks for whatever's concerning me. I'm not in agreement with it all the time, but I know that I can live through it because you won't leave me right where I'm at. You're strengthening me even in the struggle. God, I thank you. Oh, Father, thank you. Oh, yeah, my Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the struggle, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the struggle, God. I'm an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb. We are overcomers, God. So we thank you, God, for every challenge that you've given us. You've given us greater opportunities. Yea, God, and our best is yet to come. If we constantly rely on you, teach us how to walk by faith and not by sight, God. Bless our hearts. Strengthen us where we're weak at, Jesus. 
Woo, as we continue to call upon your name, as we continue to, to, to declare you as King and Lord. Oh God, help us to declare you as King and Lord over our lives. God, you are my King. Jesus, you reign supreme, Father. Woo, God, we bless your name. We bless the name of Jesus. You are Adonai. God, we adore you. We lift our hearts up to you and tell you that we love you. And it's not based upon what you've done and what you're doing. It's based upon us acknowledging you as God, as Lord and Savior over our lives. God, we thank you. God, we honor you. God, we bless your name. God, we lift you up. God, we love you. God, God, we cherish you. God, we adore you. Jesus, Jesus, no other greater name throughout the heavens and the earth than the name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. And Jesus, now we take the time out, Jesus, now to bless you for blessing us with the Holy Spirit, the paraclete that is with us, that is keeping us, that has restored us, that keeps us in the midst of the trials, God, that brings the word of God to the forefront of our minds. Jesus, how we honor your name and thank you for the comforter that abides with us. You are not a man that you should lie to me, the son of man that you should repent. Have you not said it? Shall you not do it? Shall you not make it good, God? And you've done all of that. And you're the greatest gift that we've ever received. And you're the gift that keeps on giving. Jesus, we honor you and we bless your name. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your gifts. Your gifts, the grace that you've given us, unmerited favor. Jesus, that's that's more than enough, God. Thank you for putting it into man's heart to allow Thanksgiving to be on the calendar. That's amazing, Jesus. And we have not taken the time out to understand the reason why we are celebrating the day that we're, that we're celebrating, the reason why we're standing in you, the reason that we get to put a turkey in the oven and we get a, another day off of work. Help us to acknowledge you on this day. Send this message out to others, individuals. Send this prayer out, not this message, this prayer out to other individuals that they may begin to understand why we are acknowledging Thanksgiving. It's another day, a grandiose day of Thanksgiving. Help us, God, when we rise in the morning with our families, we start out with prayer and praise and praying your name, God, and, and thanking you for you just being God. Oh, God, every time I think about all that you've done and all that you continue to do, my soul just rejoices and how great our God is. And how you continue to smile upon us and how you just keep on giving. Jesus, you're the greatest gift that we have ever received and nothing else can compare to who you are. And that is why we love you. We love you, God. Help us to declare today that any struggles in our lives, that they must cease. Help us to speak to those ills, whatever they are, in our lives, even those that may be in the hearts of our children. And we know it. We are the prayer warriors that you've assigned us to be. God, those that are listening on the sound of my voice, help us all to be able to say, God, we thank you. Let us pause right now, God, even during the prayer. Lift up our hands. We stop what we're doing in our kitchens right now, Father, and begin to praise you and magnify you and then to look back over where we once were. Oh, Father. Mm. To where we are today. Woo, Jesus. You're the great deliverer of my soul, God. Thank you. Yay, God, I thank you. Thank you, God. And so we just keep pressing on and on and on. And we're making it through the storms. We've weathered through the valleys, God. And now we're, we're on the, on the mountaintop, God, able to look down in the valleys and never forget where we've come from, God. We've made it over many storms and hurdles. We, we, we even made it through the tsunami and the hurricanes, Father, because you are yet God. 
We know how to pray until we get a breakthrough, God. There's some folk that still need a breakthrough in their spirits. There's some folk that are still going to get together with families and have a spirit of anger and, and frustration based upon past history, what has taken place. God, I pray for deliverance in the minds and the hearts of the people today. I pray for their deliverance, God. Let us put the small things aside and begin to recognize how the enemy is attacking us in our flesh. Eels because we're stressed out, high blood pressure, diabetes. God, help us on the holiday that we're not eating all these carbs and we have more vegetables than carbs. Spaghetti, pasta, mustacholi, Macaroni and cheese, corn on the cob, mashed potatoes, oh God, bread. That may be the bulk of the meal with the turkey. Help us, God, to use wisdom to have more vegetables than we have the carbs. Because it has been a tradition for many of our families. But we don't have to continue in that vein destroying our bodies. Give us wisdom, give us wisdom, give us godly wisdom and so that we can eliminate taking all this medicine. For the holidays, we just eat whatever we want to. Help us to constrain ourselves and not just go overboard. Understand our limits as well. Yes, God, I'm praying that prayer for us today. Let us stop and give thanks for having a meal and not overeating the meal. Not indulging in more than we should. Not indulging also in too much communication about that brother or sister that you're angry with. Evil communication corrupt good manners. God, help us. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Oh, God, bind us up with cords of love that cannot be broken or destroyed in the Holy Ghost, God. Help us to walk in the door in love. Help us walk in the door asking for forgiveness, God. Help us to do things that we have not done before in Jesus' name as we're pressing we're pressing on and believing you, God, for breakthroughs. Let there be breakthroughs during this uh, holiday season. This Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow, is calendarized on the fourth Thursday of every single year. Fourth Thursday in November of every single year. God, we thank you for your grace, your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For another opportunity, Father, just to say thank you. Thank you for all my, my family. My family, my wife, my children, my boys, my sister, my nieces, my nephews, my great nephews, my cousins, my aunts. God, thank you. Thank you for breakthroughs in their lives. Thank you for Tammy, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus in her life, God. Thank you, Jesus. You can do it, God. You can do it. And I trust you for it. Thank you for bringing families back together again. Thank you for restoring us, God, for what the devil meant for evil. God, you allowed it for our good, that we can see ourselves better than what we were before. We're much better because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. We look better because of the pandemic, God. And those personal pandemics that we had that the enemy was trying to kill us in, we shall live and not die. And so, Jesus, help us to stand today and say that we shall live and not die. We shall live and not die. We shall live and not die in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the struggles, for they were real. And so now the struggle that I see, that I had, have been brought on to me by the enemy. Yeah, and I don't wallow in that anymore. I thank you for deliverance in my mind. I thank you for deliverance in my spirit. Woo, God, I thank you for a breakthrough like never before. Come on, church, lift your hands where you're at. Let's give him praise in prayer. Yeah, 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 Father, we praise you. Father, we praise you. Father, we lift you up. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. Come on, come on. Come on right where you're at. Come on, take a moment. Pause and begin. Oh, God, we thank you, Jesus, for breakthroughs. Before tomorrow comes, we thank you for breakthroughs. Before we even get to our tomorrow, we thank you for the breakthrough. Mm-hmm. We thank you that the love is stronger now than ever before amongst families. 
Devil, we rebuke you on every hand that intervene in families being connected. Oh God, we thank you for perfect health, great health in our minds, in our bodies, in our spirits, in our emotions. We declare victory today. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. We understand that it has been calendarized and ordained by God. You allowed this to happen. Let us acknowledge you. Not wait till a Sunday. But when we're together with those family members that are not saved, help us to witness to those family members for a breakthrough. Don't let a day, another Thanksgiving go by where we're not being witnesses for you, Jesus. Help us to be on our positions at the most appropriate time during the holiday season. So God, we pray the prayer by faith. Thanking you for the victory that we have received. Thanking you for receiving our praise in prayer today, God. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for vision that is clear, that is clear for us to walk into right now in Jesus' name. Once again, we pray the prayer by faith. Touching and agreeing with the power of Jesus that abides within us. We say, let it be so. Let it be done in Jesus' name. Be encouraged, everybody. Have a wonderful, happy, blessed Thanksgiving with your family. Embrace them. Love them. Look at them and tell them that you love them. We don't know what the next day holds. And so let's give thanks in the current day that we have. God bless you all.